Anyways guys, under this cover right here are the brand new wheels that I got from LMR, and we're about to reveal these right now. All right, another day, another video. Can't forget this. I'm gonna need this camera bag. Can't forget that. Let's see, what else do we need? Hey, you gotta go in your room. Yeah, I know, I hate to say it, dog, but uh, the last time I left you out, you tore something up. Let's go, go to your room. Good boy, oh, look at that mess. Okay, so keys and we should be good to go. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and yes I know I have been away for a long time and that means like I've been away for like five or six weeks But yeah guys, I've been away for a while So uh, but the reason I have been is because I've been getting some New stuff as in I've been saving up for new car parts like mods and stuff like that and also I got a new truck So yeah, as you guys know, I did have the Ford, but this is the new Dodge Ram 2500 It's got the Cummins in it the 6.7. It's a 2012 and this is the new tow rig slash daily. So how you guys like the truck? I actually feel legit because I got a nice new truck now. It does have one spot in the bumper right here, but it's got a little dent, but we can fix that. And of course we got the old daily just sitting over there ready to be sold. But on to the main point of today's video, guys. Today's video, we actually got some new wheels for the Mustang. And I've been really excited about this. I've been saving up for a while to get these wheels. It's not that I don't like the FR500s that are on the car now, but everybody has them, like I said in a couple videos ago just you know there's every car around here especially mustangs have those wheels but what we're going to be doing guys is getting the car up to the shop and taking and getting these wheels changed and also got a couple other modifications but they'll be in a future video so yeah guys let's get the car up to the shop and get these wheels changed all right this is the first time i've tried to start this car in like literally five or six weeks so let's hope it starts well the fan kicked on that's a good thing First cold start. Oh, oh, oh. I really wasn't expecting that. Guys, I figured that the battery would be dead or if not almost dead. But yeah, I got lucky that time, so let's get to the shop. All right guys, so we are at the shop and it is time to finally reveal to you which wheels that we went with for the Mustang here. I think you guys are gonna like what I got. All right guys, so before I reveal these wheels, comment down below what you think the wheels are gonna be. I'll give you a hint, they are SVE wheels from LMR. And if you don't know, I shop a bunch from LMR. Anyways guys, under this cover right here are the brand new wheels that I got from LMR and we're about to reveal these right now. Alright guys, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Boom! Brand new five star black center polished lip. Brand new SVEs. They just came out today. You guys aren't even going to find these yet. I got these on the hookup from LMR. You guys are not going to believe what I got these for. I got these for free. I can literally feel the comment section blowing up right now for how cool these wheels are. I literally can't wait to get these on the car and see how they look. Wait a minute. There's a Chevy emblem on here. Why is there a Chevy emblem on there? These are supposed to be SVEs from LMR. Anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to have to give them a call. I don't know what happened if something got messed up in shipping or something, but yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. Anyways, guys, with all kidding aside, we're going to show you the wheels that I got for the Mustang. I believe you guys are really going to like these. All right, give me a drum roll, please. And bam, we got the brand new... Well, they're not really brand new, but we got the R350 wheels, the SVE R350 wheels, which are a mock-up uh, of the GT350 wheels. I've really been wanting to try these for a while and see how they look. And I really like the way they look on the, uh, the GT350s, and I believe that they'll look really good on this because, like I say, these are actually made for the SN95 because these are 18s instead of like the 19s that come on the S550 or the GT350. They're the, actually the same size. They got a 18x9 and an 18x10. But yeah, guys, we're about to murder out the SN95 here, so definitely leave a comment down below if you like the wheels that I went with, and I think they're gonna look really good once I get them on the car. They look really good right now. I mean, these wheels are beautiful. Yeah, guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you like these wheels, and uh, yeah, let's get these wheels mounted up. I'm actually really excited about these wheels because I've been wanting to go all black on the car for a while, but I just haven't yet. Like I said, guys, I've been saving up money for these wheels and for uh, you know some other stuff that I got that's actually at the house right now. Of course, the phone has to start ringing while I'm at doing a video. People call us all the time on Saturdays and literally says on our website and everything, we're closed on Saturdays, but people still come up here, knock on the doors while you're sitting here working and doing a video. But yeah, guys, let's get them on the lift and see what we can do with it. See if we can get these wheels mounted.
Also guys, more than likely I'll be selling these wheels right here. So I'll probably be selling them for like 350 bucks. If anybody's near me or close to me wants to buy these wheels, you know, or if somebody wants to drive, just let me know, hit me up on Instagram or uh, Facebook or something. And yeah, 350 bucks, mint condition FR500. Of course it will not have tires with it because I'm actually using these tires on my new wheels. Okay, so I said mint condition. I'm, I should have said with one wheel that has very little light curb rash from where a lady ran me into the curb, she came into my lane. But literally you can't notice it unless you are this close to the wheel. Not trying to hide anything from you guys, I'm trying to be honest. So guys, I'm actually kind of really nervous to do this job right now because our tire machine's kind of finicky and it has been known to scuff a wheel a time or two. So uh, yeah, I'm actually really nervous. So if you see me scratch a wheel on the old ones or the new ones, um, you're probably gonna see me cuss for the first time ever on YouTube. So yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Like I said, guys, I got these wheels right here, 350 bucks takes them. Uh, I'll make sure they're cleaned and everything for anybody picks them up. But yeah, 350 bucks, local pickup only. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, either one. And yeah, give me your information, whatever, if you want them. If you guys want some decently priced FR500s, these are the ones right here. But all right, guys, let's get to the more hectic part, getting the new wheels mounted. I actually didn't scratch the old ones, which I'm really happy about. But the new ones, like I say, I gotta be really, really careful because it is black and it's, if you scratch black, it's really, really noticeable. So. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get to it. All right, boys and girls. So we got all the wheels mounted and the tires on. I didn't scratch not one wheel, which I am very happy about. And uh, yeah, on the, the tires on the wheels, man, they look really good. Uh, I am going to need to get some tires kind of soon for this car. I'd like to go a little bit wider tire on the back, like a 285 instead of a uh, 275. And then on the front, 245s are fine, but the uh, it's starting to wear the edges of the tires right here. And it's not too bad. I mean, I've had much worse, but yeah, we're eventually gonna have to get some new tires for this thing. But all I gotta do now is take and balance them and they'll be ready to go on the car. All right, guys, you can't really see it in the shop because I have two lights in the ceiling that are out, that one and that one. But anyways, tell me what you guys think. I think that's gonna look really good once it's on the ground. It should. I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. Lift guys, I'm actually really happy with it. I think it looks really, really good. I'm definitely excited that I picked these wheels and I've been wanting to go black on black for a while. I just hadn't had the money to buy the rims. But anyways, we'll get this thing out here in the sun in a minute. I actually found something that wrong on the left front of this car. Whenever I took the wheels off, I actually noticed that it had a little bit of play right here. And it's not the outer tie rod, I actually changed it, but it's the inner. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark everything and uh, measure this and make sure uh, the distance I need because I just aligned the car so it should be pretty close I'm gonna al align it again but I just want to get it together that way I can just go drive it 
and see how it looks out in the sunlight. But like I say, if I mark it and measure it, it should be close enough. It's not a ton of play, but there is a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that changed, guys, and we'll pick the video right back up. All right, guys, she is on the ground, and I must say that this thing looks absolutely killer. I freaking love it. Dude, look at that. Oh yeah, okay. All right, guys, let's go get him out in the sunlight and actually get some good footage of this thing. I can go ahead and tell you, I, I like it a lot more than the FR500. Man, this thing drives so much better after I put that tie rod end on it. There's a, a lot less play in the steering wheel. Feels a lot more solid. And also, guys, another thing I didn't say about the wheels, uh, compared to the American Muscle FR500s, they're actually a lot lighter. Uh, I don't know if it's just uh, the metal they used or how they were made, but they're definitely probably at least two or three pounds lighter than the, uh, the FR500s that I just took off. All right, let's see if we can't get out, get a better look at this thing. Alright guys, so what do you think? Do you think it looks good? Do you think it looks worse than the FR500s? I mean, honestly, I personally think it looks absolutely great. Black on black is just such a clean look and I just absolutely love it. But down in the comment section below, guys, be sure to let me know, do you like it better than the FR500s? Like I say, these are the SPE 350 R350 wheels and they're pretty much mocked up off the, uh, like I say, the GT350R wheels, like I said earlier in the video, but man, you can't tell me that that does not look absolutely just killer. I didn't know how a seven spoke would actually look on a uh, SN95, but now that I did it, I'm very happy with it. And they also the reason I went with these wheels is because not a lot of people run these wheels. I haven't hardly seen anybody with a SN95 with these kind of wheels on there. So maybe I'll try to start a new little trend or something, get people on the R350 wheels instead of the torque thrust or, or the bullet wheels, I should say, and the uh, FR500. One of the main reasons why I switched, I just want to be you know a little bit offset from everybody else i don't want to be the same as everybody else you know i want to be a little bit different and plus what other sn95 youtuber with a 94 95 50 car has a car this nice but anyways guys if you did like the video be sure to smash the like button down below and also remember to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell that way you can stay up to date with all the videos that'll be coming out but guys that's going to do it for me in this video i really appreciate all the support i've been getting guys and just uh, i know i've been away for a while but we're going to be coming back with videos weekly videos don't lose faith on me yet i promise i'm, I'm going to start making them regularly again but that's going to do it for me in the car here and until next time we'll see you later Whew.